guess who I am and guess where you're at. It's uh, it's of a Thursday, Johnny. It's of a Thursday morning. I am Captain Tommy Scoville. You are on the lifeboat. What's happening? I hope you're having a, a good Thursday morning. Johnny, how are you doing? Better than I deserve. Thank you for asking. More is a lot of truth to that. How about yourself? Oh, uh, you know. All things considering, I uh, it could be a lot worse, right? Yeah, always. It could be breaking them rocks on the old chain gang. Yeah, I thought you were going to be breaking them in the hot sun there. I was about to jump into a little... Uh, I was. I was so close. It's not funny. I breaking rocks. the law I... and the law oh. won. Yes, the Johnny Cam is on, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Whether you like it or not. No Johnny, Mike. All right. Sandy Wendy, good to see you. Tree hugger, what's happening? Grandkids galore. They're all over the place. Shanny, how you been? Hey, Mom, I said, what's up? Uh, there is a Shanny and a Sandy Wandy right next to each other. Davey, what's happening? Shannon Smith, sing Shannon today, today, please. Oh, I always sing. Yeah, you know, there's no hope of not singing. Matrix Rabbit, it was great to talk to you last night. Kristen Melinda, good to see you. It's always good to see you. You know, it is. Good to see more of you. The uh, Plant Freak, good to see you. The Audrey Gore, that would be uh, the continent of Africa. The Audrey Gore, coming in from the uh, the continent of. Debbie Logan, good to see you. Shelly Kelly, what's happening? Oneida. Now, there's Johnny, no Johnny Mike Oneida, but there's a Johnny camera. Yeah, we're not miking him up. He's obnoxious, but we are going to point a camera at him. Seventh Son, what's happening? Uh, my brother. Good to see you, man. Glad that you're here. He's a certified rock star here on the lifeboat. Been around for slightly longer than we've been a channel. I know what you're thinking, but no, I'm dead serious. He's literally been around for longer than we've been a channel. He and Charlie Murphy uh, are probably the only two that can say that. But when I decided to start a channel, they were already there. Probably on account of you, because that Johnny Scoville fella is... Uh, Still a storm happening in Montreal. Oh, oh, I've caused storms in Montreal, Canada. I got into such trouble once trying to find the Champlain Bridge. Ooh, I mean, awful. There was a tennis court fence and there were sparks and cars and Guido the Killer Pimp. I thought it was, we agreed we wouldn't discuss this. You know what? I'm having some brain fog anyway. It's probably an old age thing. I need, to, uh, I need to tighten up my game. Aaron F. I don't think I've ever said hello to you, Aaron F. And uh, that that's just not right. Uh, hello, Aaron F. Welcome to the lifeboat. Glad you're here. Teresa Baldessari, glad you're here. Um, really am. Doreen, what's happening? From Philly. VT Kitten, are you joking? Vermont what Kitten. I haven't that? seen VT Kitten in a while. What's happening, Great, VT man. Kitten? Good to see you. Vermont's a mess, huh? <laughs> Well, it could be worse, right? We left it. I could be there. Gave them a break. <laughs> I could still be there. That would be worse. Do they still celebrate? Honestly? Do they oh no, and they. I'm sure it? that every every December, right? They have Scoville Day where they celebrate us walking out of there. Christy Covington, it's a pleasure to see you. By you, babe, always fun. Lady E, what's happening? Anne from Massachusetts. Every time I've been there, I get the feeling like they're like they're in the airport. Oh yeah, and I mean, as soon as you ready, land at Logan, I swear to you, I'm like. They know. You know what's crazy is I only fly into Logan once every 10 or 15 years, but every single time I do, uh, wait a sec. Am I looking this? See, I'm looking the wrong direction toward you. You got to look that way. So if I look this way. It looks like you're looking. Isn't that a little weird? See, this is what was bothering. This is what was bothering SPTV Tattoo Warrior yesterday. Now, Calhoun could play with that. But the problem is, no matter where we put it, put you or me, there's still got to be this, okay? I feel like it's going to be weirder if I do it the other way. My hand's going to go this way to do the fist bump. That's not going to work, man. Try, try not to think about it. Calhoun, play with that. Oh, there we go. See, this is my kid. My kid's pretty smart. Now, if I turn and look at you this way, what does it look like? Uh, you're good. Really? Yeah. All right, Calhoun. I know you think you're smart kids well, there's, there'll be no living with him there's going to be no living with him now that's it, it really is he's, he's on fire too he's batting a thousand he's having such a good week it's Johnny's just looking be the wrong way i need to look that way that's what i need to do. well you know what it's uh, like the cartoon or like video game with pac-man when i go that way i pop up on the other screen it's like video game. beans mama 
There'll be no lurking. Why, thank you for popping your head up and saying hello. That means a lot to me. Idaho, Carol, hello, good to see you. I don't know that I've ever said hello to you either. Boy, we got a lot of people popping their heads up. Carrie Wilson says, much better. I, You know, I should have done it yesterday, Carrie. I'm not very bright. But that's why we got Calhoun, right? My son's smarter than I am. And hopefully that always happens, right? Calhoun's kid's going to be smarter than him, I hope. Um, and I hope that, you know, it's four or five years before he decides to get married and have that kid. Uh, Johnny on the top left. I can't really afford Johnny. Lady, Lady E asked a question. Are we close to meeting Mama Scoville? No. Uh, here's the deal on that. Mama Scoville has agreed to do an interview on the lifeboat. She has agreed to do an interview on the lifeboat. I have started on like six different uh, times writing questions yeah, out. Question for you. In front of the camera or behind? I don't know what she was planning on doing. We did one on my channel. Yeah. Where yeah. everybody emailed. It was questions. actually pretty good stuff. I've watched great? it. I've watched and it. And she was off camera asking all the, she could choose whatever questions she wanted. But I don't see her sitting in front of a camera. If she does, why would she do it for you and not for me? Whatever. Well, because she doesn't like you. I mean, I think we've There's had this, that. The, the, you know, this has been established for a really long time. I'm kidding. I keep forgetting about She's that. She's the, uh, he's the favorite, actually. Actually, neither of us. Keep that no, you know what? Our, our family's been great that way. No one ever knows who anybody's uh, questions, are. I mean, anybody's favorites are. Although we all thought we were Nani's favorite. She was pretty good at making everybody believe. Norma was a member. Oh, she didn't care. And Norma didn't care. And she would just look at my brother and say, I love everybody the same, but you're my favorite. Like she didn't care. No, she went it's not like a, it hurt my feelings either. She went to a Little League game when I was a kid. Yeah. I might have hit six home runs in that game. I'm not sure. But she clapped so much that the next day that the, her hands were black and blue. True story. I believe that. I did hit six. I believe in that. that. Game. But she had, her hands were black and blue. Cave ma'am, what's happening? All right, we've been regaled with your stories of, uh, wait a second, who rushed for uh, for four uh, touchdowns? It was uh, Al Bundy. Al Bundy uh, held the rushing record at um, Polk High. high. <sighs> well, you didn't think I wasn't going to No, I didn't think did. you were going to dig Polk High out, to be honest with you. Caveman! What's happening? Did Can I, I say something? That? I used to have a shirt. That said Polk Caveman? No, that said Polk, Polk High? high yeah. That's a great shirt. I would still have that shirt. Someone stole because it. I tell you, that's not a shirt you ever lose. No, that's what I was going to say. The more wrecked that shirt got, the better it would have been. Uh, Jen, good to see you. Feels good to be on the boat this morning. It always does, doesn't it? Although sometimes Mama Scoville is the queen of the lurkers. Boy, you ain't playing. Well, who said that? So that seventh son said that, and he's right. Well, she she is royalty uh, in terms of lurking, to be sure. Free hiking spirit. You know, I was thinking, Brianna says, I'm going to jump in the shower. Why do we say that? Where did it come up with, like, jump? First of all. Hey, Lisa Trimble. Step in carefully. Let's talk. She more. says, help. The noise in my brain is deafening. What can I do? I can't journal. Let's talk about this. Perfect opportunity right here, right? Let's get this going. Hopefully you're still here because I was a little behind. So sorry if I'm blowing everybody else off but um, for a second. But this is a great one because this happens all the time, right? The noise in your head is deafening. And I've been there and done that. Johnny's been there and done that. Anybody, permission granted, come on aboard, Cindy. Anybody that's been there has been there. Yeah? Okay. We know that this is eight minutes, sunshine. That's what you got to get through, Lisa. No joke. You got to get through eight minutes, right? Now you go, no, it's been going on a lot longer than that. That's because you've been feeding the monster, right? If you allow yourself to continue down the road, if you let your, your, uh, your brain run with that, it's going to continue. You have to break it for eight minutes, right? So what do you got to do? Well, if you're looking at the same four walls, you're making a mistake, right? We need to change our senses, all of them. We need to bombard our senses with a whole new uh, uh, set of stimuli. I want you looking at something different. I want you smelling something different. I want you hearing something different, right? You literally will taste the air. You know that, right? If you don't think so, go to prison, right? When when you walk in, you or will know that DMV. you can taste you can taste the air. What's that? DMV. Yeah, the DMV feels like yeah, very similar. It's just like intake without the peanut butter and jelly. Sandwich. A lot of truth to that. The DMV reminds you a lot of intake at a county jail without all the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and the oranges. Oranges, by the way, where the skin is an inch and a half deep. Now, I'm playing with you right now, right? But I'm not kidding at all, right? If we can get a laugh, that's fantastic. But I'm not kidding. Get up. 
walk around, start getting a little blood pumping into your legs, start getting a little oxygen into your lungs, right? And if you have to, we need to get out of where we are. Now that can be go to the driveway and walk back and forth, right? Aromas help me the most. Aromas are huge. Yep. Aromas are massive. Make a move, change topic, change scenario. What is your favorite song? Jeremy Fowler's getting this, you see? It's literally this kind of thing. By the way, Dennis from Boston, thank you for your never ending support, man. For real. Um, you are, uh, you're fantastic, Dennis. And um, it, uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you for not, uh, for always supporting the boat. You, uh, you're fantastic. Another one of my friends from Boston. Um, well, Pat, it's an interesting question. I've never asked him what part of Boston. Um, I want to thank you. I've never struggled with addiction, but I have a family member that has. You have helped me understand what he's going through on a daily basis. Beans Mama, I'm so happy to hear that. That's one of the goals here, to be sure. One of the goals is absolutely to, uh, to kind of make people understand that this really is a disease. We're going to diddy dive here in a minute, Debbie Logan. Don't go anywhere because we're going to dive into some diddy stuff. I got, I got fun stuff to talk to you about Diddy, I promise. But first, um, Jeremy Fowler's nailing this. Make a move. When you start feeling like the stuff in your brain is going like this, there's a reason it is. And I'm sorry, but we feed into it. And, and what I mean by that is if you sit in the same place and you stare at the same walls and you start going, you know, we do this one, right? right. We do. Yeah. We start doing that rocking. So we start, soothing. yeah, anything we can do, we start rubbing our legs, we start grabbing our hands, we start doing oh, all of these name. things, right? Anything that we can do, right, to, to start, get your butt up, right? Get up, get up and start walking around. I've been in the same situation you're in right now where you couldn't open the door, right? And it becomes a much, yeah, walk around the yard and listen. That's the spirit. Get out there, walk around the yard and listen, Right? I have done this where you couldn't get outside. That wasn't a possibility. Then what do you do? Huh? Burpees, <laughs> push-ups. Yeah, whether you like it or not, life changes. There's no question. You're going to you're going to get a change whether you dig it or not. So grab it by the uh, smack the crap out of it. Get up, walk around. We need eight minutes. Listen to the sound of my voice. I promise you, in the next eight minutes, you're going to get a couple of laughs. Right. So just listen, right? Boo Radley says, fake it till you make it. I'll tell you a term I prefer better, right? I prefer live as if, live as if. And they, I know it sounds, and it is semantics, right? The reason I got to do it that way is because I was the world's biggest faker, right? All I did was fake it. I faked everything. I'm not playing, I faked everything. So when I started to, uh, to build the, the, the new Tommy and I was talking to, uh, you know, I, I, I was the one that said, yeah, I can fake it till I make it. You know what I mean? And uh, and Q said, eh, you know what? You've been faking it for a really long time. Why don't you just live as if you're the person that you're going to design yourself to be, right? Live as if you're a little bit cooler than you really are. Live as if you're a little bit tougher than you really are. A little bit more confident than you really are, right? And then you start building that way. I quit eating, right? Bread at every single meal. I started doing a lot of crunches, a lot of push-ups. <clears throat> faking it gets old scooby says and scooby nailed it faking it gets old amber by the way i'm glad to see so it. much today tommy worked me up oh. guess what yesterday was people leg day leg day i got the answer for long-term funding for the uh, boat members who can't afford rehabilitation gold from god you know like gold from god get in touch uh Yes, love squirrel the best. I would say that uh, Mama Scoville probably does love squirrel the best. No, uh, to be really honest, there's a love hate relationship there, Jim. By the way, uh, speaking of uh, of love, I got mad love for Jim Webster. Um, Jim is a uh, Jim's not just a crew member on a lifeboat. Uh, Jim is a very close friend, and uh, we're uh, we're doing some pretty cool things um, behind the scenes. Funding for life sounds fantastic too. I love that. Uh, your squirrel getting petted by mom and squirrel. How's that for a shocker? Yeah, the uh, Johnny's got a, a video of, uh, of Mama Scoville petting the cat for a long period of time, which is a shocker because they don't they don't gel well. Good to see you, Russ. I'm glad that you're here, my brother. Um, 
when I get super anxious, I think of a word. Um, and then I try to think of as many words that rhyme with it. It sounds stupid, but it grounds my thoughts. It doesn't sound stupid that much. <laughs> what do you think of that? It doesn't even remotely sound stupid. Do you know why? Brianna, what you have done is you have designed a coping mechanism mm -hmm. that does not require sticking a needle in your arm, right? Drinking something, buying something, snorting something. Oh, that doesn't sound stupid to me. <laughs> uh, that sounds genius if you really want to know the truth. Everybody catch that one? Now, will that work for you? Not sure. But I know the one of the things that work for me. And I do similar things. I play games like this in my head. If When I get really, really anxious, <clears throat> one of the things that I do is I go back to the three moments in my life, and I'm not going to share them with you because they're deeply personal, but to the three moments in my life that absolutely were the most horrifically tense and anxious moments. I've, I've shared one with you. I've talked about the, uh, the moment where they wanted me to remove my boots. <laughs> right. That, uh, that moment there was, uh, was fairly rugged. Um, seeing as the boots were, you know, filled with an illegal substance that I was transporting to a different country, but that moment didn't kill me. There were two others that were really awful. And both cases, I was in front of a large group of people, either literally or with the aid of a camera. You know, I was, there were a lot of people watching. Um, but I survived those moments. I survived that, that those moments of being so anxious and so terrified. And then, by the way, having it go all bad, right? Thinking of the worst possible case scenario that you could come up with, and then having it be a little worse than that, right? And I survived those. So uh, I don't think rhyming is dumb, Brianna. I think, I think if that's working, man, you, you're, uh, you're splitting the atom kind of smart. It's like explaining Schrodinger's cat in a sentence kind of smart. You know what I mean? It's string theory understanding kind of smart. Uh, not for nothing, but I think that's the smartest thing I've heard in a hot minute. Everybody else should also be paying attention because if there's something that works for you, you don't go, huh. That's a good one. I need 700 other things like that. You need four or five good tricks, <laughs> right? You need just a handful of good tricks. Now, JJ Bird says, my anxiety has gone down a lot since ketamine therapy. It does work. It's just expensive. Yeah, I've heard that it is. Different parts of the country are, uh, are you know, paying different amounts. Um, I know that there's a other therapies pretty similar in pricing, whether you're doing um, ketamine or you're doing MDMA or you're doing um, psilocybin. I think all are pretty close to on the same, um, right around the same dollar amount. I don't think there's a lot of difference in that. I would love to, uh, you know, I have said in the past, I started out super against this as a concept. I am now on the complete opposite side of that. I, uh, I believe wholeheartedly that this is a great thing. I know I don't make a lot of friends when I say that, but I just have watched the evidence-based results. It's not opinions. It's just, I've watched what's happened and it's just absolutely killing it. It's doing so much, uh, so much good that it's incredible. And Cindy Collins makes a, uh, an astute comment from uh, my associate, Cindy Collins who says nothing is stupid, whatever gets you through. It's People. the socks in, in Bull Durham. Were you thinking that? Yeah. Were you really? Honestly. Knew it. it doesn't matter if you believe, right, you're having a streak because you haven't changed your socks in two weeks, right? Guess what? That's why you have that streak. And anybody that's ever believed in a streak of any kind knows that it doesn't matter what's bringing that streak. It, there is a lot of... Uh, there's a lot to be said for finding a routine, something that works, and doing it over and over and over again. We talked yesterday briefly about routine. I live and die with routine, right? Routine is the most important thing in my life. I know, as all of you do, if you've been around here for any length of time and you're not just showing up for all the chicks in the chat, if you're listening at all and you're showing up, you're, you're probably aware that I've been discovered. You found me out. You know what? All right, I'll show myself. No, 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 you're good. You're good. 
everybody else knew. It's not, uh, I'm not really, uh, I'm not telling you anything that you don't know, right? Um, truthfully, I'm not. I wanted to bring up some stuff today. Tampa B, by the way, Tampa B. I am, I am hoping that you, I'm not trying to put you on blast, but I'm hoping that you're, uh, that you're healed. And I just want you to know the number of people that were ready to tell on you, right? They were ready to, uh, to rat you out if you were uh, not going to get yourself looked at. <laughs> Damn, Tommy realized I'm only here for the chicks in the chat. Stay Speria, this, this, this happens a lot. I'm, uh, the realization happened a long, long time ago. Uh, I talk a lot about, um, and we talk a lot about, especially recently, about Diddy, right? This guy's a low life. He's a piece of crap. There's a reason I use Diddy, by the way, and I will. Uh, what do I think of ayahuasca? I think ayahuasca needs a lot of guidance doing that drug. I think it is probably the top of the food chain when it comes to drugs that realign the brain, right? Um, but you got to be really, really careful with it because it is the top of the food chain for uh, trip drugs. And uh, there have been some people that have really come out of it. Uh, there are people who come out of it that have life-changing experiences that make their life so much better. I've uh, I've read some stories of people that didn't have that experience. You really got to be careful with, uh, with any drug like that. Any drug that has a disassociative effect on the brain where you feel like you literally are leaving your body or you're tripping to the point where you're not in control of what's going on, that, that has to be respected really heavy, right? This one does it so much so that it makes all the others look like weed. So it's the Mac Daddy for factory settings. It's the Daddy of the Mac Daddy. Yeah, this is ugly. This is the factory reset. <clears throat> Jennifer Lumpke says, any advice on how to help keep a routine? Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah. Here's, here's how you uh, do a routine. Simple as hell. When you get up in the morning, right? Sorita, I don't know that I've ever said hello to you. Welcome to the lifeboat. Glad that you're here. When you get up in the morning, right? There are things we know we're going to do every day, right? You're going to probably take a shower, yeah? Okay. You're going to brush your teeth. That's pretty much a lock, right? In the morning. What else are you going to do guaranteed? Well, if you're a lifeboater, you're going to journal, right? If you're a lifeboater, you're going to make your bed. Why? Because you didn't when you got high. You didn't when you were using, so you're going to now, right? It is your way of saying to the day, here's my list of goals, and I just did the first one, right? This is so the routine is already there, isn't it? You're going to get up, you're going to make your bed, you're going to journal, you're going to brush your teeth, you're going to jump in the shower, you're going to make coffee, you're going to watch the lifeboat, and you're six things into your day on autopilot. Back. And it's taking your control back. Because we used to lay down when we laid down. Sometimes in the clothes we wore that day. Right? And, uh, well, for me, who's woofing who, I, uh, I went to sleep in the clothes that I wore that day every single time. I passed out, I didn't go to sleep. I did dope until... That finally knocked me out, which usually happened at about two or three in the morning, you know. Um, Tampa B Man says, I didn't mind being told on. I just didn't want uh, anyone to wake you up. Well, just know they will wake me up in the future. If you're not, that goes for any of you. If you're injured, go to the hospital. Ayahuasca is something to be respected, not something for fun. I am of the firm belief, um, Calhounis, and there are people who uh, will disagree, and um, that's that's cool. But I'm of the firm belief that any disassociative drug, tripping drugs, any tripping drug needs to be um, respected <laughs> as something that is not, I don't know, I don't think that they're drugs that you're supposed to be um, taking and going to rock concerts. But that's just an opinion, that's all. I think that any of the disassociative and trip drugs need to be um, to be respected and almost thought of as a tool as opposed to a drug, just an opinion. Chrissy Never in Newton says, morning from the Nor'easter in wicked New Hampshire. Yeah, me and hubby got a uh, snow day in April. Sweet. How nice is an snow April day snow day? April. Ah, good times. Good times. We had that absolute vicious storm when we were in the Northeast. It was a nor'easter, and it was in April, and we got like five feet of snow. You remember that? I remember a couple of big ones. That was a big one. 
I remember once we got 36 inches on October 1st. That's wow. that's good living right there, man. 36 <sighs> people were just losing their minds. Yeah. And the resorts are, are you kidding me? No, you've got like, snow fever, you're stop. waiting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, Carol, that is a part of my uh, routine as well. I do it on my phone, um, but I have an app that... Um, I spend uh, uh, a part of every morning with God, absolutely a part of my routine. I don't, um, I don't shove it down anyone's throat here, but it's absolutely, it's probably the most important part of my routine. Tommy, uh, it took you showing me how uh, far into my relapse I was. I'm so uh, thankful you and the boat have really helped me. Well, you know what, Christy, you've done an awful lot for the boat, right? We used to call Christy the queen of the normies. But of course, she's not a normie. There aren't any normies, right? I don't know what the hell a normie is. I used to think that they existed. It's like functional families. No such thing. They're all, we're all dysfunctional. Right? Yeah. Remember Al Pacino and... Glenn hey, Gary good morning, Glenn Yankee Ross. Kyle from the, the Yankee Kyle from New York City. Congratulations on never getting high, my brother. That's a beautiful thing. Go ahead. Remember uh, Al Pacino and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Yeah. That's me at the table. Yeah. It's exactly like that. Yes. It's a good line. Kristen Melinda says, no way. Chrissy never knew in small world. I love it when you get the no ways because I can literally hear her doing that. Um, I remember that storm, Johnny. I was in a kid in upstate New York, I says Queen of Aquinas. I didn't want to date myself. I um, can tell you what year it was. Well, what was it? It was 1984. 84. 85. 84, 85. Yeah, 85. October. Good year. October. Good October year. 1st. Good year. Good year. No, it was 86. Excuse me. Coffee is for closers. No. All right. So let's talk about this uh, Sean Combs fella, shall we? Um, so what's the deal, right? I'm getting so many emails from you people who are saying, you know what? They're, nothing's going to happen to him. They're, they're not going to do anything. Uh, I got to explain this to you because I promise you I'm telling you the truth. Before they go in with those warrants, they've already written the indictment. Yeah, I promise. Right? Those indictments, the, um, the prosecutors write this thing up, right? And they're saying 86 is correct. Yeah. Uh, the prosecutor writes this thing up. This is what they do for work. What they're saying is, here's what I can prove, right? Here's what the case is. Rodney Little Rod, uh, whatever this, uh, this Little Rod, uh, the guy that was the producer, right? This all hinges on him. Everything that he said in this uh, new filing, which by the way, has got a grip of other people involved and, the, and big people. The head of this uh, uh, label, the head of that label. Tampa B. Since last weekend, love, please be careful. All right, we love you. Please be careful. I don't know what a Dropbox is. I don't know when. Um, they had a grand jury ready, says Queen of Awkwardness. Here's the deal on the grand jury. I don't know whether or not the grand jury is convened, and we haven't heard about it, because that could be the case. Or they've got a grand jury ready to go. But the indictment has already been written, I promise you. And when this little rod cat came out, he started talking about they're flying dope from this place to that place, right? They're flying dope there <clears throat> so that they can drug underage people. And I promise you, I'm not wrong, because if they weren't underage, the people investigating this cat, uh, this crime would have been different. We're seeing the Department of Homeland Security, right? We're seeing Homeland Security investigations, HSI, that they only investigate one thing, right? Really, that's their wheelhouse. Their wheelhouse is investigating human trafficking. And you understand that human trafficking there, this comes in multiple flavors, but the one that we're talking about is very much about sex. 
human trafficking also, or they, they, they move people to, to use them as uh, slave labor and things like that. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about people who were getting, did he absolutely might be the gatekeeper, Debbie Logan? Um, we're going to find out real quick. <laughs> you know why? Because he's a rat, right? This cat's already a rat. Allegedly, apparently, he's already worked with the FBI. He's uh, he's no stranger to telling the feds things. I'll this is the word. What you said yesterday that Ashton Kutcher loses a visit to Oh, freaking out! Right oh, now. Ashton, Ashton and this cat have business dealings together. You know this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Deep diving last oh, night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. These guys have uh, they've invested in things together, right? You know that. Uh, by the way. I don't care how much cash this dude's got. He's in trouble. People are about to start telling on each other. Well, no, they, that, that's the reason that these indictments, everybody goes, why haven't they indicted anybody yet? Because the number of people that are named in the suit alone, just from this uh, producer, there's a bunch of people. And you draw it out. I did it last night on a piece of paper. There's like nine names on this thing. If you don't think one of those names is already going, e I don't want to go to jail. Hey, I don't want to go to jail for, for uh, Sean Combs. No, I don't want to go to jail for Sean Combs. I got a better idea. How about I tell you what Sean Combs has been doing? Because you don't even know. I'm telling you. Let me tell you something. The number of times the feds in the last two weeks have heard, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> the number of times the feds have heard somebody go, oh, no, man, I know so much more. You don't even know. I promise you, man. I promise you. They are snitching like you read about. It's a field day for the people. I mean, think about it. They're hearing so much. Now, they're deciding what's best. Now, this guy's a billionaire, right? But make no mistake. Chirac went, yanked the carpet out. They want nothing to do with this dude. Now, depending on who you believe and what research you believe, he made about $700 million off of that deal, right? This is not a small part of his income. This is a big chunk of how this cat made his, his money. That's gone. They don't want to talk to him ever again. They want him as far away as they can possibly get him from Chirac. By the way, everybody else feels the same way. Everybody else feels the same way. You understand? Nobody wants this cat anywhere near anything anymore because... He's a piece of crap. Somebody gets a broken arm on my bingo card. Uh, more people know that are victims than witnesses. You know what? Interesting. Uh, Tampa Bay. Interesting. Any way you shake this, right? This thing is already done. They already know what they're charging him with. And I'm telling you that this is a textbook. Yeah, uh, Ron Burkle is uh, is a name that is coming out as the cash, right? But when you yank away the largest influx of cash that this dude makes, yeah? Take that off the table. And you know what you're looking at? $180 million he owes in real estate. By the way, these all of the uh, mortgages on his real estate are new. He recently mortgaged his properties. So he's getting, uh, uh, I would imagine he's getting cash on hand for um, his legal defense team. But these are not 30-year loans, <laughs> right? These are loans that need to be paid off in the next five or six years. $180 million in the next five, uh, five or six years. Is going to be a little tough to get a hold of if all of your income streams are drying up. If you look up uh, his uh, music catalog, they say that rec uh, radio play for um, Brother Love, you know, he's calling himself Brother Love, true story, Brother Love. Uh, airplay for this cat is down so dramatically, they say like 80 some odd percent. They're not playing him anymore. People ain't buying his stuff anymore, right? Everything's drying up on uh, on our guy. Since his assault, it has dropped 88%. 88. 
88%. His error play has dropped 88% since the allegations came out. Bummer. Bummer. Now, this is a person who hemorrhages cash. You understand this? You got any idea what it costs? Somebody just said his, um, you're looking at, uh, what do you call it? Um, his jet is in Hawaii, right? Um, so at one time, we, uh, we ran a little company called Magnesium Technologies. And Magnesium Technologies bought a jet. God only knows why. But it was a Yak 40, a smaller, yeah, okay. You're, you're not getting out of this either. Stop it. So costs about 25 or 30 grand just to get one of those things off the ground, right? The amount of money that it costs to be Sean Scumbag Homes for a day, the number of homes. So he has mansions side by side. He's got two mansions that are side by side. Get a look at the grounds on that place. He has employees working around the clock. The, the by the way, they were talking about the number of cameras, which is odd because Johnny Scoville and I were uh, were talking about this. How many cameras do you think they were talking about? Not hundreds, thousands, thousands, thousands. The jet alone has to cost him at least a uh, hundred to two hundred dollars. Jeremy Shelton was on it. He's uh, he's probably researched this. Jeremy, you may not believe this. That jet was into the thousands. Yep. 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 Wow. Ugly stuff. Yeah. Thousands of cameras. He had thousands of cameras, thousands of microphones. This is a low life. I don't think he was, uh, I don't think he was taking all of this stuff for uh, posterity <laughs> so that years from now we could look and uh, no, this is, uh, this is really ugly. Now, we can sit here and we can go, you know what? It's a rap entertainer, right? It's a musician. Why are, well, the entire world is watching this? It's distracting us from really important things that are going on, on in the world. Who cares, right? Who cares? I'll tell you why you got to care. Here's an interesting question for you. Are you ready? What do you think the average life expectancy of a woman in the United States is? Johnny Scoville. 78. Are you cheating? Because you answered that a I'm, little too quick. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll, I'll show myself out. Pardon the interruption, but is that a cat-shaped mug? Why, yes, it is. Everything around here kind of looks like a cat. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty fond of cats. So, 78. You don't like how your boobs look on top? You would die if there was a camera. Look, if you're going to tease us about your boobs and then just throw that out there without a camera, I don't think you should be allowed to bring that up. Love you. I'm just saying. Um, 78. Right? 78. What do you think the average life expectancy of a, of a woman in the porn industry is? What do you think the average life expectancy of a woman in the porn industry is? How about 39? The average woman that gets into a porn, that gets into the porn industry dies at 39. What this guy did was abuse men and women sexually, right? You can Google that, Kristen. I'm not making that up. It gives you an idea of what happens, right? When people get abused, right? And then that abuse is viewed by others for entertainment. We get an idea of what it does to a person's soul because the friggin' life expectancy is less than half, right? <laughs> Well, this is what this guy was doing to men and women throughout his entire life for fun. Right? This is a bad person. And these are these are really really horrific crimes that we're talking about. These are uh these are not uh 
this is not just oh well it's holly weird you know or it's uh you know those industries no man this is like slavery kind of stuff i left so i wouldn't blink most the of the answer out most of the sex workers get into the drug lifestyle and that definitely shortens the life expectancy. Absolutely. I knew, uh, I knew people in that industry. I knew a lot of people in that industry and you know what? I didn't know any of them that were not uh, doing a lot of dope because it's just kind of, uh, it's just kind of <coughs> what, what happens, right? We know probably more than anybody here. We know um, what happens if you get screwed up in your childhood. Yeah, you know what? PSN Cat Food says it's bad enough he was doing it, but he got his own son involved uh, in doing it too. And you know what? Um, uh, PSN Cat Food, his kid is indicted. You know? Really? Yeah, 30 years old, either 30 or 31, about the same age as my kid. His kid's all over the indictment. I didn't know. All. That over the indictment yeah yeah his kid's super involved but you know um oh is diddy a flight risk is what you were asking um you know what everybody's a flight risk you know but i promise you uh diddy isn't breaking wind that the uh that the federal government does not know um, that he's breaking wind. I did see this. So there are two shootings. There are two shootings that we know of that he was involved in. Yeah, there are two. Um, one is the one that involved Jenny from down the block. Allegedly, supposedly, uh, she was holding on to one of the ladies, right? Oh, you got to hold it sideways. I'm sorry. It's gangsta time. Got to hold that thing sideways. So you hit nothing. Uh, she was holding one of the, the ladies in her purse. When they got inside, she gave that to, allegedly gave that to Combs, who then used it to go pew pew and uh, put some lead into people. Some of that lead ended up in the face of a, of a woman who has never had that removed, but has said, you know what? I'd be willing to have that lead taken out of my face if you can match it to his gun. Gives you an idea of um, just how popular this guy currently is, right? Never was willing to let that happen before. Thank you, Shannon Smith. That's, that was what I was going for. Yeah. It's um, there. The walls are going to start closing in really, really quick. The question is, does um, does he decide to unalive himself the way that uh, old uh, Jeffrey Epstein did, right? Because I promise you, there are people above him, right? Names are already getting mentioned, but he didn't uh, he didn't start this. He's he's uh, he's a player in it as well. Empire of Illusion by Chris Hedges had a really good chapter about the porn industry. Very upsetting, but very good. I know what you're talking about. Uh, there's also some pretty uh, incredible um, books uh, about the porn industry that are just about particular uh, stars. Linda, um, Linda Lovelace, her, uh, her story, um, I believe the book might be called Deep Throat. I can't remember if... Uh, if that's the title or not, but I read her, uh, her biography in prison. She's dead. There was a, they made a, a, like an amendment or an addendum to the end of the book, by the way, she has since died kind of thing. Um, but, uh, she lived long by uh, that industry standards, you know, but it, it should give you an idea. People all the time say <clears throat> there's no, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, that's the title. Um, People say all the time, hey, you know what, consenting adults, if, if they're consenting adults, there's no harm, no foul. They're, who's the victim? If the people want to do this, who's the victim? If the life expectancy is 39, right, I don't need you to draw you a map to see who the victim is. 
By the way, I tried to find the uh, male statistics. Right. They won't split them up. It doesn't say specifically female for a 37. Right. They just say in general. That's the age. That's bad. The age. It's bad. Your Cindy Collins, you are absolutely correct. Cindy Collins says, Tommy, there's a reason this is coming out now. He's been overlooked for 10 years, and now they are after him. Okay, now I'll tell you some of the theories on this, right? They've been building that case. Well, one of the theories is this. One of the theories is that they went with um, – you've got – You've got a camp that says for a long period of time, they've kind of been building a case against him. Then there's a camp of people who say, you know what? The people that have been protecting him for all of this time are sick and tired of protecting him, right? I think that more realistically, what happened, I think real, more realistically, what probably happened uh, in, in this particular case is that the floodgates got opened up by Cassie. When Cassie filed her lawsuit, right, we know what the allegations were, right? What we don't know is how much of this she had, right? We don't know. We don't know if she said, oh, guess what? I got video of all this, right? But what we do know is um, what we do know is, yeah, I lost my train of thought completely. It happens. It's a brain death thing. The uh, the reason that Diddy f has fallen now is because Cassie's lawsuit has broken open a floodgate. I think that there was so much evidence that it took him eight hours, right? That lawsuit came out on Friday night <laughs> or Thursday night and on Friday morning, uh, they had already settled, right? Done. Why? Because damn, he knew this was going to get uglier and uglier. But as is always the case, a bunch of people have gone to lawyers in the past and said, I want to go after Sean Combs. And the lawyers go, I don't. He's going to hire 50 of the best attorneys in the world. He's going to stomp me out like a cigarette butt. We're going to spend all of this time on paperwork and this and that. But once you settle one of those, other lawyers go, oh, <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think we might be able to make some money here. She was suing for 30 million. Little Rod's asking for 30 million. The insurance companies, they don't want to pay on this. Everybody is getting ready to bail. Rolling Stone says, I think Cat Williams, Ice Cube, and Snoop Dogg have all provided testimony and evidence to the feds against Diddy and Suge Knight. And that's why Cat Williams was so prophetic. Here's the only reason that I think you might not be right on that. In that community, uh, talking to uh, to the feds is really considered bad form, right? I would be really surprised if the if that list of people um, all were, uh, you know, cooperating. That's a list of people that would um, usually uh, pride themselves on having nothing to do with that kind of stuff. But who knows? Um, it would be uh, it would be a little sad for me to think that Snoop was uh, that Snoop was talking to the feds. That 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 honestly would bum me out a little bit. But he had threatened to unalive himself before, says Zelda. Um, Cat Williams is calling out Oprah and Tyler Perry as well. Oprah is a wretched human being. Hey, before I say anything, I just want to say you're looking mighty fine today, Oprah's. Uh, she does seem to be taken in pictures with her arms around some pretty foul individuals on the regular. <laughs> it's never I saw gonna a get funny old. meme the other day with her with six different I people. showed you that, didn't I? I think I may have shown you that, but yeah. Oh, really? Well, I'm, not, I'm not a smart Very man. bad. I'm not a smart man, Johnny. But you just pretend to be one on YouTube. But I, but I pretend to be one on YouTube. Um, Cassie needs to be loud about how not depressed she is. Uh, you know what? I, I love that. I love that the floodgates are open, right? I, I, I can't stand Oprah, by the way. Can't stand Oprah, by the way. She's and I used to love her. 
By the way, six degrees of separation, you know how close I can get to Oprah on six degrees of separation? Met her. No, uh, no degrees of separation. Because we knew all eight. We're done. I know, but she, I went to that thing with um, Tony Robbins and she was one of the instructors there. Um, she's horrible. I don't think there's a, I don't think there's any doubt. Yankee Kyle says, Tommy, birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, right? That's why we keep seeing Ashton Kutcher show up every time there's somebody who has essayed a woman. Chances are Ashton Kutcher has hung out with him, right? Seems a little, you know, once. If he makes it, imagine the way he's going to be viewed 30 years from now. Well, I mean, he won't be able to find a rock to hide under. It's true. You know, Jeremy Shelton says, uh, funny how a fire devastated a Hawaiian island and the residents aren't getting any help rebuilding. The rich will be owning that island really soon. You know, there's... Sadly, there's probably a lot of truth to that. Uh, it really is. That's a sad thing, but I think that there's probably a lot of truth to that. Uh, People, places, and perspective says I lost a uh, lost respect for Oprah years ago, and I used to love her too. You know, it's a bummer. It really is. Um, yeah, the. Uh, Shannon Smith says, I liked Oprah until I met her in person. I'll be damned. You met her. Yeah, you know, I did too. She did a class in this. I, I took this um, this deal and she was supposed to be an instructor. And she was. I mean, I, she was an instructor. It was, I think she went through a, a book that they put together, a little workbook. It was, um, yeah. PSN Cat Food says, I was so disillusioned that Clive Davis is involved in this BS. I'll tell you something. Um the, this, I guess, you know what? No, I went through this. I was about to say, I, you know, but I did go through this. It's just that I've known about Clive now for a long time. Um, yeah, I've known about Clive for a long time. Cookie, uh, Cookie Brightwell, who, by the way, sounds like she should have graduated from my high school, doesn't she? Cookie Brightwell. Uh, Cookie says, I do not believe he will take his own life. He's too proud. I don't think um, Epstein took his own life either. Uh, I don't think he'll take his own life, but that does not necessarily mean that. Um... <laughs> Krista Melinda says, I know that's not a real Dr. Pepper, but it makes me want one. Uh, it, does, it has the same effect on me. I'll be honest. Um, well, Murder was the case that they gave me. Da, 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 da. Murder was the case that they gave me. Um, I I know the documentary of which you speak. I don't know whether or not that's a number that can be proved. I don't. But I'll tell you something. I don't think you'd have a hard time convincing me of that. I don't. Gangsters talking to the feds is a long tradition. The higher up you are, the more likely you're talking. I listened to Keefe D's interrogation. He gave up his own nephew as the actual shooter. Rolling Stone. Is it 23 natural flavors in the Dr. Pepper? That's what I've heard. I just found out they are. They told you? Yeah. Stop it. I wouldn't lie to you. So you could just Google that crap. I can. I did. So tell me what the colonel's using on his... Um, I'll tell you. I want to know what Colonel Sanders is doing then. Okay, you got it. Ah! Eleven herbs and spices. Should be a smaller list. You've got this. Not sure I'd buy it. I think Johnny Scolo is lying to me. What do you think of that? You want him? You have the you want you, right now? You got Colonel Sanders. So you want it right now. You have Colonel Sanders. I have it right here. Disgusted. Here's the what's the point? You don't even need uh, corporate espionage anymore. All you need is a computer. That's what I'm saying. It's right here. I'm not even fooling you. Here's the secret recipe. If you mix this with two cups of white flour, you need two uh, thirds a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of basil, half, a third of a teaspoon of oregano, uh, one teaspoon of celery salt, salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dry mustard, four teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic salt, one teaspoon of ground ginger, three teaspoons of white pepper, and those are your eleven herbs and spices. 
You know what? I'm disillusioned. I can't begin. I to can rattle off the 23 natural flavors and the Dr. Pepper if you no, want. No, no, I don't. I don't want that. In you fact, more surprised with that. No, you know what it sounds like? It's starting to sound like a Family Guy episode. There's black licorice in here. You're gonna get to the end of it, and then I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. Do that again. I know we're not doing that. I'm not gonna take the next five minutes uh, wasting that kind of time. Uh, I, I'm just not. Kelly Growing says, sorry, but I never heard what precipitated all of this attention on Combs. How did it originally come to light? Briefly, you know better. Can't do anything briefly. Briefly, here's what happened. His ex-girlfriend filed a lawsuit in November of last year. He settled on that lawsuit the following day. Right? There was no farting around. Uh, he said, yup, and he paid off. The word is a lot of money. Right? A lot of money. <laughs> Since then, five other lawsuits have been filed, one by a cat named Little Rod, and this dude gave a lot of names and a lot of information and a lot of uh, stuff that had happened so recently that the federal government thought, you know what? I'll bet you that his equipment is probably 90 to 120 days of backup, which means that even if it got deleted, if it got deleted in the last 90 to 120 days, they can probably go in and get that unless it's been bleached, bitted, or destroyed or whatever. They wanted to get all of those tapes and all of that video because this guy had said, here's all the crimes that they're doing, and all of it's on film. But this is what point, though, because he's using it. He's doing what Epstein, Epstein did. They're, he's keeping it forever anyway. So if someone he'll, he'll, be, of he'll these, be keeping a lot of it. He won't be keeping all of it, but he'll be keeping game. a lot that's of his it. Whole purpose. Yeah. Tommy Bird says, I tend to fart around, all around. Okay. Okay. Oh I gave it up about he five years it. ago. I just quit farting. Did you? Yeah. I just quit farting. Does it improve your life? No. No. Not much. I, I miss it. But oh, uh, she's gonna where have you been? Chair. Watch. She knows the camera's going. Where have you been? She's going to go. Get up here. Go to the shoulder. Watch this. Yeah. I want to start a podcast and call it sure. All Your Heroes Are A-Holes. The content would be endless. Don't meet your heroes. About that. Don't meet your heroes. There's a that's a one of the greatest pieces of advice I ever heard. For real. Don't meet your heroes. When you do, it will bum you out. Right. Sadly, that is the truth. Even my Mike Tyson is speaking up. Says Debbie Logan, and he is. Mike Tyson has been uh, has been uh, talking about this as well. I think everybody is weighing in. Uh, I hope that when this is over, that. Uh, the takeaway isn't dudes gay because that's so many when I'm deep diving this so many of the videos just want to talk about the fact that he a fruit pop, you know, or a fruity pop or this the stupidest stuff that gets said that's got nothing to do with the subject matter. Right. I don't care if uh, if the guy's gay, yeah, you know, but if he's drugging people. I would have gone to BG camp, by the way, let me show him. If I could have learned to sing in falsetto, I never would have done anything else in life. You'd be stuck there. Just I like, would be so happy. What? You would have grown the big Barry Gibb beard, look like a lion. And, and I can, dude. Yourself. You should see how big I can grow a beard. I, I would have made such a great BG. I can grow chest hair in like six minutes. I mean, I would have made the best BG. If you were a BG, you would have been Barry. To my Maurice. Perhaps. Yeah, fun. I would have been Andy, old man. <laughs> I can't believe you just tried to put me there, dude. No, I would have been Andy to your old uh, bearded. Uh... She, she but the hair, she, she yes. Awesome. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for bringing me back to reality. He no, says, no, but, but the hair. Don't, wait. Hey, I could have had a hair transplant. I could have used a, a, a wig. I can't believe you took me there, Ben. You cold-hearted um kathy says where could they put him if he gets uh convicted because he's going to be in serious danger um he could end up in uh he could end up in adx florence in colorado uh he would be going to the feds this is a federal offense <laughs> please mike johnny oh man if you knew how bad it is listening to him uh beard what about zz top well johnny's got the uh He's got the ZZ Top thing covered, to be sure. What are you doing to my cat? She's see, crying. She's see that cat is just the most spoiled animal on planet Earth. He could get a cell with R. Kelly and Danny Masterson. Trouble is, uh, old Danny Masterson is a state inmate. But 
um, I think that uh, old P. Diddy would be going to the feds. You follow me? Yeah. But there's a good chance uh, he ends up in the feds. When he does, he's probably going to end up in one of the high profile, um, like the one that Derek Chauvin got stabbed in, which is right down the street from here. There was the one that I parked in front of. Remember it's when I went on the here. visit? It's my old yard. It's been turned into the uh, God, it was the highest vibe. profile. Oh, weird vibe. Weird vibe. Yeah, that was I never even spent a minute in there, but I could feel it. She said he will go to FPC Pensacola. And you know what, Mira Deer could be right. It just depends, though, how many guns they took out of that house, right? That would be an issue because FPC is a federal prison uh, camp. And Prison camps, you don't get to go to if there are guns involved at all. You you Once there's a gun involved, you have to at least go to an FCI. You can't go to an FPC. F, and these are going to be these are going to be crimes that aren't going to get him FPC points. He's not going to have prison camp. This is kidnapping kind of stuff. This is human trafficking kind of stuff. This gets you 35 years in the feds. This isn't a slap on the wrist. His custody level is going to be gnarly. He could end up at ADX. And wouldn't that be lovely? He wouldn't like that, though. Brother Love wouldn't be near anybody else. You do solitary uh, confinement. And just that shame, Troy. I'm getting my jolly for this misfortune. I'm sorry, but it's Wow. A great use of a word, man. That's a good one. One more time, dude. How often you can work that in a sentence? Guess what, people? That's the news, and I am out of here. I am sorry. I would love to talk to you for another hour, but I'm not going to. And the reason is uh, I have a schedule that I keep to. Uh, and this morning I have uh, a list of things I have to get done. Danny Masterson is the only, is only in prison until, oh, wow. Is only in prison until California's governor uh, Newsom pardoning him. He just pardoned murderers. He did just do some very unusual pardons, seven. I may be doing a uh, video on that a little bit later because he just did. I'll talk to you about it. All right, everybody. I'm Captain Tommy Scoville, and that's the news. I am out of here. That's my brother, Johnny. We'll see you on the next one. Calhounas, give us a wave. He looks like a, a Viking today. Uh, or... There he is. How are you, bud? Tired. Okay. Well, oh, I, am... I thought you were hitting the end button. You thought what? I thought you were ending the stream. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. So just wanted to say goodbye to you. Have a great day. Um, love you all. And we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.